my June TBR. We are officially halfway through the year. And we're still in quarantine. We're still in lockdown. Although apparently I, the place where I work should be reopening to some students mid-month. So who knows where this month is going to take us. It's certainly going to be a month of eye-opening opportunities. Like I said, I'm here to talk about my June TBR. Um, I did quite well with my May TBR. I was very impressed with myself. Um, but with June, I want to kind of, not necessarily a TBR, but I want to give you an idea about reading plans. Because I've got a lot of plans and lots of ideas, but it's kind of getting them executed and getting them done. So I want to talk to you about some arcs I need to get to. I need to, I want to talk to you about, I'm involved with a couple of blogs tours um i'm going to tell you about a video that you will be seeing coming very 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 soon um as well as some books i would like to get to i'm not saying i definitely will but i would like to get to them okay so let's talk about blog tours first uh, just, i am part of two blog tours one in the second week of the month and one in the i think it's the last week of the month so the second week of the month i am going to be part of the blog tour uh for uh, the ya debut of uh, uh english author called cg moore who has written his uh i believe it's his debut ya novel fallout it is a heart-hitting ya contemporary so you'll be seeing something uh relating to that mid-month uh towards the end of the month i'm also very excited to be part of the book tour for the new one from Silvia Moreno Garcia, which is Mexican Gothic. Uh, this is the same author of Gods of Jade and Shadow, which came out last year and had to cover aesthetics to freaking well die for. Um, and I'm really excited. Uh, this is going to be uh, on the top of my read list for June. Um, so you'll definitely be getting some uh, wonderful content for both of those books this month. Uh, Arcwise, I, I've been looking at one thing that's kind of throwing me a bit is i did initially have a lot of june arcs but then coronavirus happened and my june arcs became august september october november december and onwards arcs so actually i haven't got that many june arcs to read although i have got mexican gothic which is out at the end of the month uh but i've got um some end of june and july arcs that i would like to get to this month uh starting out with oh we've got three in particular that i want to get to in addition to mexican gothic the first one is uh, girl serpent thorn by Bel melissa basherdoust um i know this is kind of dark fantasy almost fairy tale like i know she's done some stuff before about girls made of snow i think was one of her previous ones uh and she seems to stick with dark fairy tales so that's out in july i also want to get to the extraordinaries by tj clune tj clune is an author i'm hearing so much about and thinking i need to read so much more of his stuff and i'm very excited to do that uh, the extraordinaries basically super superhero so it's a little bit fantastical a little bit contemporary a little bit awesome because i love me some superhero content you know this about me um sorry about that battery died and had to relocate my bad um where was i so the third arc uh, that i want to get to uh, in uh, june is blood moon by lucy kuthu i'm sorry if i'm saying that wrong um i think this is a novel in verse uh, and i believe it's kind of about girls get girls and um, getting their period and why that's not a bad thing interested intrigued heard a lot of talk about it on librarian twitter it's a brilliant place um so yeah so they're the with mexican gothic they're the four arcs i definitely want to try and get to uh this month as far as upcoming video plans um i'm gonna be rereading the hunger games i wonder why not like there's been some kind of major release of a prequel like 20 years later 10 20 years later who knows? But I'm going to be rereading all three Hunger Games books. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, you can probably guess what that video is going to be. Hey ho, I will have thoughts. I will have lots and lots and lots of thoughts. Um, as far as other books I would like to get to in June. You see how I'm using this word a lot this month? Like, if I put this bit here, because then I can put book covers here. Um, some of the books I would love to get to in June. Uh, so one of the top ones on the list is The Court of Miracles by Kester Grant. This is a Les Mis retelling, or a Les Mis reimagining, I believe. Um, I just know the cover's stunning. I just know it's Les Mis related. I know I miss the theatre a lot. And when I had, like, I read Kingdom of Bat last month, and there was elements of it that gave me all Phantom of the Opera vibes, and I was like, oh. And now this is going to read this. It's going to give me all Les Mis vibes. And I'm like, oh, 
I'm really excited, really intrigued to see what happens. Um, I'm hopefully going to be getting my hard copies sorry my physical copies of some may releases that i am de that were american may releases so i've got ebooks for some of them but i'm just desperate to get on my hands on all of them uh the henna wars by adiba jagadair i'm sorry if i pronounced that incorrectly uh, i know this essentially is two uh young asian girls who are in college and they are tasked to set up their own business uh, and they both set up rival henna businesses the henna wars um but i know it's a female 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 romance I'm really intrigued. Um, I would also like to get to The Boy in the Red Dress by Kristen Lambert. Uh, I have had this on my radar, radar for at least 12 months and I've been desperate for it to come out. If you go back and watch some of my kind of anticipated releases videos, I mention this all the time. It's finally out. I'm here for it. Uh, we're talking um, murder mystery. We're talking about it being blamed on the easiest suspect. Um, and I'm just here for it. I'm just, I'm just ready. Also, it being Pride Month, you'll see a lot of boxes being ticked off here. Um, I also would like to read The Life and Medieval Times of Kit Sweetly by uh, Jamie Pacton. Uh, a couple of months back, I read Well Met, which was also a Renaissance Fair romance, which I loved. This is giving me all the Renaissance Fair vibes, as well as some kind of feminist uh, girl power screw the patriarchy kind of vibes which i'm totally here for uh this comes out at the end of may but i'm really intrigued by it wonderland by juno dawson um apparently a companion to her previous novel meat market but essentially it's kind of an uh, alice reimagining uh, and i know i've read some of juno's older work before uh and they always kind of absolutely smash it out of the park with kind of outside the box thinking um so yeah that's going to be an amazing one to read uh camp by elsie rosen it came out right at the end of may so definitely want to try and get to that one as well as well as i'm desperate to read felix ever after by case and calendar um that book just speaks to me obviously in america it's you know it's pride here uh pride month so i'm all for the lgbtq plus qia plus books this month um i would like to if i get a chance get to beach read by emily henry which also came out in may and apparently is smut horrific so chelsea donning reads tells me um and i'd also like to get one that i haven't heard a lot of talk about but mermaids <laughs> sold me on this a song below a song below water by bethany c morrow um i'm really intrigued by that one as well um i don't know how many of those i will get to i'm gonna try my damnedest to get to all of them uh, but they're all quite yummy milk um uh we also sometime this month you'll probably have a try a chapter tag i've been going on marie kondo on my books yes you heard that right um so I'm unhauling quite a few, but there's some that are kind of not definite keeps, definite goes, uh, but definite, I, I kind of, I want to keep these, I don't know if I want to keep these, so we're going to do a try a chat to tag with that this month. Uh, I'm doing a buddy read, uh, as it stands it's the end of may when i'm filming this so i've just started a buddy read of bone cryer's moon by Catherine purdy uh with my girl stagey with my girl i'm stagey book it's my girl wheelie stagey uh so you'll be seeing something about that this month uh, as well it's just exciting times it's just really fun times and really exciting reading times and i'm absolutely here for it all just all of it and i've just found out actually i found out yesterday i think it was uh al cray announced their june theme and if it's the book it is i think it is i have it on order i i have that box coming if it's the book i think it is i'm gonna die because alongside kingdom of back and the new montague siblings book from mackenzie lee which apparently isn't actual september it's my, one of my most anticipated releases of the year that shouldn't be getting released till August. And I might have it this month. I'm so excited! <laughs> uh, what are you guys reading this month? I'm sorry, I'm getting very, very excited. What are you guys reading this month? Uh, do you like look at any of these? Um, have you read the new Hunger Games book yet? Watch out for it, world. Uh, this has been Olivia. This has been Stagey Bookish. If you've enjoyed what you've watched, give this video a like and hit subscribe. And then maybe I'll see you on the next one. Bye, folks.